In a village, there once lived an old man named Chandraya. Many people in the village would simply hate him. Chandraya makes firecrackers through ammunition. One day, while he was making the firecrackers, he accidentally exploded his entire family. And that is why everybody in the village hates him. But every festival, the entire village would come to Chandraya to buy the firecrackers he made. One day, Shankar, the headman of the village, comes to him and says, Oh, hello, sir. Had you told me, I would have come to your home myself. Oh, of course, you are ready to come to my house. But nobody in my house is willing to see your face. And that's what brings me here. All right, sir. What brings you here? I came to ask one billion dollar from you. Can you give me? No, of course not. Dude, I came here to ask for some firecrackers. That's what you sell, right? So, I need firecrackers. Oh, you came for the firecrackers. Uh, tell me what all do you need. So, Chandraya, I need all the variety that you can give me. Everything, you know. Right from small to the big. Whatever you have in your shop, give it to me. So, there is going to be a grand welcome of the minister a few days from now and I need you to give me crackers for that. Oh, sure, sir. I'll definitely be on time. Oh, regarding money, just quote whatever you want to quote. But there should be no mistake. You should be on time. Saying so, Shankar leaves from there. Chandraya worked very hard the entire night to make the firecrackers demanded by Shankar. While he was making the firecrackers, he starts thinking in his head, Oh God, how badly do I miss my wife and my children. I wish they were here. They would have helped me so enthusiastically. But unfortunately, I myself took their lives. My whole family is dead. But I still can't give up making these crackers because I love doing this. That's how sad Chandraya was while he was thinking about his family. And then he falls asleep. But the moment he falls asleep, all the firecrackers wake up and start talking to each other. Oh, I feel so sad for this man. Wish I could help him. Chandraya is really innocent. Ah, uh, humans. They'll be sad no matter what. Nothing can ever make them happy. Chandraya's condition is because of us. Oh yes, but now what can we do? Can we bring back his children and his dead wife? That's right, we can't bring back his wife and children. But he loves making us. Oh no, he is not that horrible. He makes firecrackers only for Diwali. Rest of the days, he's resting. A peaceful man, you see. Whatever the case may be, we all need a family to celebrate the events with. We all miss the family. That's right. We can't bring back his wife and children. But he loves making us. What do you mean? Tell us clearly. We are firecrackers. We can make people happy only for a while. But many people are actually harmed by us. Many people catch respiratory problems and start getting sick after we are burned. Elder people are having heart attacks due to us. And also the noise that we make, it really hurts birds and animals. Even humans are suffering because of us. Oh wait! Did you just say that God punished Chandraya because he made us? Is that what you mean? Yes, that's what I'm saying. All right, people. We need to stop this fight right now. We are anyways gonna get burned tomorrow. Let's have a peaceful night, shall we? I am just happy to see the children who are very happy to see me burned. They are so happy to see the light that I illuminate. Oh, come on. You are praising yourself for no reason. 
what should we be ashamed of we bring happiness on many faces like children they all enjoy their festival with us we are the most important part of their celebrations we should take a pride in this and the firecrackers were talking and discussing the whole night and chandraya wakes up early in the morning he takes the shower and gets ready to go out and then he ate his breakfast while looking at the photo of his wife and children since he was missing them the whole night then he grabs the big bag of firecrackers and leaves for shankar's house oh hello chandraya you're well on time i am impressed the minister is about to arrive ensure you burn the firecrackers well on time okay yes so chandraya then starts waiting for the minister to come holding the bag full of firecrackers oh come on you are praising yourself for no reason he just made a very good deal and in the evening of course he'll be getting chicken and beer oh why do you have to mock people like that can you guys not keep quiet for a while oh shut up guys look minister has arrived woohoo shankar is quite happy to see the minister but suddenly there came two terrorist they threatened that if anyone dares to come near minister they will kill him that's when the firecrackers again starts discussing something today is the day to help chandraya all right now will you please tell us clearly what you are trying to say please chandraya's entire family is dead because of us since that day he is cursed in the entire village now let us turn chandraya into a hero oh is it can we even do that nothing is impossible if we try oh please tell me how that is even possible we are going to attack the terrorists and explode on them the terrorists will die immediately our chandraya will be hero then the firecrackers without wasting a moment exploded on the terrorists the terrorists died on the spot everybody around thought that it was chandraya's bravery oh chandraya you have done a great service for the whole village i am going to adopt this village now and i will ensure that no person in this village is suffering from anything i will build hospital roads schools and everything i am so so grateful to this village saying that the minister leaves from there after that all the people of the village were very happy with chandraya they honored him and were very happy with him everybody realized that chandraya was not a villain but a hero for them but unfortunately the firecrackers who helped him are now dead chandraya takes the ash in his hand and sheds tears saying thank you <laughs>